everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. As you can see, we have here a new package and as always, we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time, let me grab the Swiss knife, here is the Swiss knife and we're going to unpackage this thing. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, what we have here is a Wi-Fi camera called Cam Echo K8. I noticed that this type of Wi-Fi camera is very popular since many sellers offer models that looks quite identical to this one such as the Nest Cam, Xiaomi and others. This camera can work with both Android and iOS devices. I can tell you that I managed to operate it using my notorious Galaxy S5 smartphone that runs Android operating system and my iPad Air 2 tablet that runs iOS operating system. What I didn't manage to do is to operate this camera using my computer, this laptop which runs Windows 10 on it and I guess that this thing is possible and I consulted about that with the seller of this camera who gave me a link to download the software for my computer, this laptop, uh, but I still didn't manage to operate the camera using my computer so if someone who is watching this video and can recommend me about a good software to this Wi-Fi camera, please comment on this video and let me know about it. The Cam Echo K8 Wi-Fi camera offers the following features. It can shoot videos up to a resolution of 720 pixels. The video quality is quite good whether you will use it in high, medium or low quality. It has night vision to shoot videos at dark which works surprisingly good. I had to search on the internet for the detail about the viewing angle that this camera can offer and the answer is 120 degrees. The camera allows you to save videos and photos and is using H.264 video compression format. But I must clarify that so far I managed to take only snapshots. As for the videos, I still didn't realize how to save them into files. Maybe I need to use a different application. So the moment I will sort this issue, I will update you in the description to this video. I also noticed that other cameras similar to this one might offer zoom in and zoom out features, uh, which did did not work for me with this camera, so I also think that this thing is related to the application that I chose to use with this camera. The camera has a two-way audio communication system. You can listen to sounds from where the camera is located, thanks to the built-in microphone in this camera, and you can also broadcast sounds from the device you're using to this camera, thanks to the built-in speaker that it has. I can tell you that the response time of the video and audio that you broadcast to the camera and from the camera is very good. The camera itself is compact compared to other bulkier Wi-Fi cameras available in the market. At the front of the camera you have the lens and two tiny holes that are related to the light sensors. At the back of the camera you can see the built-in speaker slash microphone, maybe the microphone is somewhere else, I'm not sure exactly. Next to it there is this reset button. On the right side or maybe it's the left side depending on how you look at things, we have the micro SD card slot which will fit class 10 micro SD cards with a capacity of up to 64 gigabytes. On the bottom of the camera's back we have the micro USB slot to plug this supplied USB cable to power the camera. And you must make sure that it's always connected to a power source in order to operate the camera since this camera does not have a built-in rechargeable battery. The base of the camera allows you to place it on a flat surface. You can adjust the camera back and forth up to 180 degrees depending on how you're going to place it. If for example you would like to hang it on a wall, you can take out the base of the camera, attach it to the wall using nails or screws and then you can place back the camera. The package includes a small plastic bag with the relevant accessories for this specific purpose and in addition the package included the following. A USB to micro USB cable, a charger that connects to the USB cable and goes into the electric socket. This is intended for those who don't have a USB socket to power up the camera. And the user manual in English, this is only two pages long and as always I urge you to read the user manual but I know that the majority of the people who are gonna buy 
this specific camera will not read the user manual, so the OVR guy, which is me, did the dirty job for you, and here's what I think you should know about this camera. There are two ways to operate this camera, either using the Wi-Fi network, which will allow you to control this camera from wherever you are, or using a local connection directly on your smartphone or tablet, which will allow you to control the camera up to a distance of 50 meters. The local connection is relevant, for instance, if you want to use the camera as a baby monitor. In order to operate the Cameco K8 Wi-Fi camera using the Wi-Fi network, you should do the following. First, you need to download an app. I downloaded UC, which is available for both Android and iOS devices. You can find it on Google Play and App Store or scan the QR code that appears on the box in order to download it. You will need to register an account in the app in order to use it. If you have any worries about giving special details, don't worry because everyone already knows everything about you. Turn the camera on by plugging the USB cable to the power source. The camera should be beeping, which means that it's ready to connect to your device. If you don't hear any sound, press the reset button on the back of the camera. The camera will restart itself and you will hear a sound of a sort to confirm that. In the device list, we will press the plus button and we will choose Smart Link. Make sure there is a Wi-Fi network with a good signal so you can connect the camera to the Wi-Fi network. Next, next. And that's it, we're connected. Now that the camera and the smartphone recognized each other, we need to enter a password in order to connect to the camera. So make sure to enter initial password that you got, it's written in the user manual. And don't forget to change it immediately because you probably will postpone it for later. And that's it, right now we are connected with the smartphone to the camera. You can see that I'm moving my hand in front of the camera. I hope that the demonstration that I'm doing right now can give you an indication of the video quality and the response time of this camera. If you look at the screen, you can see here a lock symbol. I'm not sure what this lock symbol is. The sound, I put it on mute because if the smartphone is very close to the camera itself, it makes a horrible noise. But other than that, the speaker is very good. And this is the microphone symbol if you want to talk and then you're talking, it's supposed to come the sound from the camera itself. You can hear me in the background from the camera the camera symbol allows you to take a snapshot you can see that it's very easy to take a snapshot here you can choose the video quality LD is low definition SD is medium and HD is high definition now I want to show you the second option how to connect the camera to your smartphone you do it directly from the camera to the smartphone without any Wi-Fi network Make sure that the device that you're using in order to connect to the camera is connected to a local network that is named GWIPC something. Now we need to open the UC application. And that's it, right now we are connected to the camera. So the setup with the local Wi-Fi network is much easier compared to the normal Wi-Fi network that you are gonna connect to this uh, camera. But you can walk away up to 50 meters only. So keep that in mind. And I'm gonna show you right now that it works in the second method. I'm gonna uh, mute the uh, speaker because it makes a horrible noise when the smartphone is next next to the uh, camera and you can see that it's working right now and I'm gonna put the sign in front of the camera and you can see that it works properly and I'm gonna enable the speaker I'm talking right now and the speaker is on so I can only hope that this short demonstration was helpful and you can have any indication about the video quality and the sound quality from this camera. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, this was my video review about the Cam Echo K8 Wi-Fi camera. Overall, it seems like a really nice camera that can be very useful if you need to keep an eye on someone or someplace. You can get this camera for a really good price, so I think it gives a very good value for money. And if I will be able to learn how to operate this camera on my laptop and how to save the video files and how to enable the zoom in zoom out feature, it will make it even better camera. 
For further information about this camera, including ongoing updates from time to time, please check the description to this video where you can find pros and cons about the camera, a link to the user manual, a section with frequently asked questions, and a link to the specific store that I purchased this item from. But keep in mind that this is not a sponsored link. If you still have any questions about this camera, please comment on this video and I will do my best to come up with an answer. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channels, original video reviews, OVR fashion and OVR kits that I recently launched. And there's also the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account and the Instagram account. So there are plenty ways for you to follow original video reviews. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.